to my children. That is the food that I brought in this country many times. You are telling me that Nigerians can't bring in their food. That's it's, what you are saying. No, it's not what I'm saying. Then go so and find out. No, so what me. I'm saying is that unless I know exactly what this How am I going is, to explain it to you then? This what, is a cornstarch powder, cornstarch. But I don't know that. Unless I have the box that has the ingredients, I'll right, I have to go and transport it back from Nigeria. Come and show okay, you. Okay, well, the options Come are... On. Does that... So what do you guys think about that video? So that's basically a Nigerian man trying to bring in custard into Australia. Now, this will be the second video where I'll be talking about things that you are not supposed to bring into Australia. And it just most especially when it comes to food and um, street Australian border law. My first trip into Australia was six months ago, and it has been the only time I've entered Australia. And in that vlog, I talked about how I was able to bring in multiple Nigerian food into the country without any problem. Okay, I was able to bring in 99% of my Nigerian food, my Nigerian ingredient into the country. From the video, I noticed that the Nigerian man, it, it is not his first time in Australia, or I'm even guessing he's probably an Australian citizen. And he felt like whole oh, screaming and you know it is my right this and that it feels like for him that is how he can solve that problem now for me as a person that is a traveler the first thing is that australia is really far okay my flight was like seven hours and then another 13 hours okay that was like 20 20 20 hours okay minus layover all right to get to australia so imagine I now get to the border force, they're now telling me to, you know, they want to try out my food. I understand that as a, a, um, a person of color or as a foreigner in the country, you need your local food. But you also need to respect the law of the country that says that whenever you're coming into the country, make sure that the food you bring it in is properly packed, it is properly labeled and it is the right food. Okay, now, he brought in the right food, which is custard, because you can't plant custard. It's so stuff. It's a substance that we eat back home. And I was even talking to my fiancé. He said there is even custard in Australia. The way he packed it, he packed it as if the packaging looked like drugs. Okay, so the, the immigration officers couldn't tell that whether if it's, of course, it is probably not drugs, but they couldn't tell what it was. You understand, right? So we need to stop setting ourselves up for failure and try to do the right thing. If you want to see how to bring in food properly into Australia, I'm just going to show you a sample of what to bring into the country, okay? You're not supposed to bring in meat. You're not supposed to bring in pepper. There's, you know, Australia is well known for its steak. They've got good quality meat here. I, as a local person, I even get access to goat meat. They've got okra here, they've got pepper, they've got tomato. So you don't need to bring any of those. Like, they collected my meat and they collected my pepper. But the rest of my ingredients, obon, or crayfish, everything came through because it was properly packed and properly labeled. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is even my, my yellow pepper that I brought in from Nigeria. You see how it is packed and you can see like... They can tell there's like the botanical name on it, there's like the local name on it, there's the expiry date. They want to be sure that the, the product you're bringing into the country is the right one. This is the front. This one has double seal. Like there's an internal lock and then there's an external lock. You see, properly packed. This is Gary. See how... It, because if you give this to a white person, they're like, okay, Gary is what is what is it? That's that's ground cassava. They can see the kg, you can see the protein, like the nutritional fact there. You can see the sparing number, you can see the calories. So it tells the immigration officer that okay, this is what I am holding because they are not so conversant with our local food, with our local delicacies. This is my pepper soup spice I brought in from Nigeria. I brought in multiple. I had like a whole big bag of ingredients. This is a bono. I had a gusi. I had stockfish. And they all went through. So we need to stop embarrassing ourselves 
on a global scale and just you know to do the right thing okay so guys for those of you that actually want to bring in your local ingredients make sure i got all of these ingredients i got them from shoprite go to shoprite those the section there you would find properly packed nigerian ingredient by the time you get to the butter force and then they throw away your local food your eye go clear that is all i have to say in regards to this matter anyway good luck if you've got any questions in regards to bring your food into australia let me know i can send you like a list or just if you want to be sure that you're buying the right thing leave a comment in the section below and see you guys in the rest of the vlog bye